Hello, welcome to another one of Studio Central's Facebook Live art demos. We are here um, at Upbeat Artworks as per usual to do one of our art demos this week for resin. So for those that don't know, Studio Central is a part of Artbeat Studio, which is a nonprofit organization that believes in using art as a tool to help with mental uh, mental health issues. Um, so we offer um, a residency for artists as well as um, Studio Central, which is open to anyone 18 plus, um, which is just right across the hall from us. And then over here at Upbeat Artworks, we have the art of the alumni that have gone through our residency program. So to start off, we can show off some of those works um, that we have in the gallery today. I'll flip the camera around. So over here, we have some kind of spring Mother's Day set up with some earrings by Rianne. Um, these uh, angels, silk flower angels are by Megan, who is actually with us today for our demo. And we have this cute little pot by Christy Brown, which is cutest little jar. Oh, and a special, special rock. So if one lucky person that comes by the kindness yard at the right time is going to be able to grab this rock. Um, and then we also have a very fun large piece, which is the motel. Do you want to? Yeah, uh, the piece is by Pim, one of our artists and Arbit alumni. Uh, it's uh, actually very, very 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 contemporary or not <laughs> yeah. and you can definitely um, uh, hear the artist idea which was uh, not actually much about talking about art it was quite a sensory interpretation yeah it's got so many details like you could stare at it forever i i took a bunch of photos of this, of this and i only just noticed that the artist's name is um scratched into the desk so don't know how i didn't see that but like you can just keep looking and find so many That's right. so many details so this is an amazing piece so if anyone has the opportunity come by and see it in person because i could stare at this for hours <laughs> okay also uh there is a switch right here we do not keep it lit for yeah. a long time so i'm just turning it off there is also a remote and i did not figure this one out yet so the buttons yeah. right now uh they're not connected yes but it does light up so that's what that's yeah, so, for. Uh, when it comes to technical detail, I'm not even <laughs> there. So I don't know. And there is a TV there that uh, is very cute. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of detail. And actually, like, the um, figures inside are not, like, stuck down. So they can, can move if you... If you douse them a little bit, which is, I think, a fun detail, because you can play around with it. <laughs> but you can zoom out and see the whole thing. Yeah, and so we can turn on, turn around and go into our art demo, which, like I said, is resin in class. We have Matar and Megan, who both look wonderful today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so again, Marisa saves the day. Right. Yay, thank Every you, day Marissa. and we today. Love you. <laughs> we love you so much. <laughs> All right, uh, so I will start with a little bit of introduction of who is here. Oli, Megan, my daughter Mater, and I'm Kate. Uh, what uh, it is about? It is about resin and us. <laughs> Jump scared. <laughs> just for just for um, first of all, it's a little bit of a story. Uh, it might take several minutes for me to actually get on that. Oops. My phone doesn't want to go in today. Oh. And we need to put that one of these to fit. Oh, because I have that? the bear on it now. Oh. 
Oh no. Oh, okay. If you can move it this way just a little yeah. bit, it might work. How is the buttons? Oh god. I didn't <laughs> test those screws. <first. laughs> it's just a, like a half an inch more. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, I will be careful sure? with this. Better. Not throw oh, the phone. Oh my god. A little bit more. There you oh, go. There, there we go. go. We're in. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's true. Okay. Uh, so when it started, uh, I got a request, and it was a very special request to teach a group. Uh, and the group. It was not a big group, but it was a very interesting project to work on. For myself, it was something I had never tried before. Uh, I was working with resin, but my resin was minimal. So what I was using resin for was rocks and some paintings that requires a very thin layer. And it would not require a big amount of resin. So the resin I was buying was 30 or... Uh, I think it was 30, uh, and it was the maximum I bought. Uh, I was trying different kinds. I tried jewelry resin, and usually jewelry resin is for smaller pieces. And what we were doing last time with resin was, um, we actually used epoxy, but that project would work out better for many artists with jewelry resin, because it does not bubble as much in the base. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, um, when it comes to resin, it can be tricky because in your place it might not cure as well as it would cure in a different location. And it's not only about temperature, it's, it's humidity, it's many factors and also the cats. When the cat is involved, I, I need to wipe every, like this is not even a resin mold. So this is probably the hardest case for me. Uh, because the project required something like that and it was not my idea. <laughs> Uh, so the mold was uh, bought from, I believe, Amazon. Uh, it could be either Amazon or Walmart. I think it was Amazon. So this is basically a, not a resin mold. And baking molds, usually they're way thicker. Mm -hmm. And resin does not cure as well in them. Okay. Uh, so you need to have a place that is really set for curing. And uh, my preference is to not cover anything because resin cue is faster. But when you have a cat at home, it's impossible. So if, if I put something on top, it could be a plastic cover, which I was using, but in this case, it does not cure as well. And you can see the difference. Like in my case, they could see the difference. And also, even if you cover the hair, cat hair, you can okay. see a big one here, and that's from my cat <laughs> The cat's not even here. It's lying on the cat here. <laughs> so, so, you can see that. And I cleaned it. So, it just <laughs> so uh, what usually is the best to do in this case, after reusing, uh, it's just washing with water, but then I apply some Windex. So this is basically Windex. We got paper towel and Windex. And that's what I would, would use. Very smart. Here. So, uh, starting with a very simple move. Oops, can keep my painting a little bit focused on what we're doing. I don't want my mind to go too far from what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so something like that. And then I inspect it and look, and there is a hair still. So <laughs> that's just cats. Cats just cats. go everywhere with hair. So in this case, yeah, I could just use a wet wipe and then use a paper towel. So that would be a little bit easier. Okay, but I'm using the Windex. For, this is no name Windex. It's just a different uh, container for it. Uh, I would use it on glass. So the idea was to create resin plates, which I used the baking mold for, uh, to apply the glass pieces on top. So this is basically, it's not perfect, I do not say it's perfect, and part of it did not cure as well as I wished it would, but we're going to create something better than this today. And 
again, this is resin that I used at first and it's not the resin we're using today. So we're not working with this exact plate. Mm -hmm. um, this is the thickness that I, I would prefer, but what we're going to work on today is not as thick. Um, I use completely different resin that worked the best. So my recommendation would be to use craft resin. So in my story, okay, in my story, I had, I bought resin in a big bottle. So these are two bottles, one is resin and one is hardener and it's epoxy. Uh, I was thinking big bottle should be enough to make as many plates as I needed for the workshop. My plan was to make 12 and then my plan was to make 12 more for another workshop, which uh, it, uh, the first workshop happened already and the second one was thinking if it happens in uh, October or November, but it might not happen, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so as many resins as I tried, I went through three different sets of resin with big bottles and all of them were not curing well in my place. So my first resin did not create a good result. It was thick, it was good, but it was not curing completely on top. Second bottles were leaving like a liquid something that was not curing in my place at all. From the third uh, attempt, I got something that was manageable. So it's something like this. So these are the third bottles I bought. And at the end, I bought this uh, low viscosity uh, crystal clear craft resin and that's what worked the best in my place I might find a different resin that I was looking for something that would be you know when you buy things for a workshop you think uh, if someone is going to cover it at least partially you're not losing a lot of money well on this project I lost uh, quite a bit because three sets of bottles were not good each of the sets was approximately a hundred dollars so that's basically something that did not work out. It's heartbreaking. Uh, even the last bottle worked for some plates, but as you see, it was not perfect. So I bought this, and this is $60 for this uh, set. So these are two bottles. I don't have them anymore, and I can show what I made with them. Uh, why I'm talking about that. When someone wants to start a project, they want to know the cost approximately. And when it comes to costly projects, I just want to mention that definitely. So, um, okay, so these are the ones I made with craft resin. So, again, th this is $60, right? And this is what I got made with uh, $60. Oh, no, no, this one, sorry. Mm -hmm. I got two sets. This. Okay, so this is what I managed to create with this. Okay, so look at this $60. No, it's this. Okay. How did I mix them up? <laughs> so many I just put something on top that is not from this set. Okay. I mean, we, we could say you do too much art, but that would be a lie. So. Okay, so this is a piece of what you don't do at home. Okay, so this is something I was getting. So I got 10. You can look at this. Oh, wow. One. Oh, I like that. That's a nice, that's a nice weight. It's a light weight. It's very light It's way weight. lighter than this. Yeah. And it's One, not that it's smaller two, either. Like three. Feel you know the difference between that and that? Like, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's right? really light. So this is very different. Compared you to... you see this is yellow and this is quite Compared to this. Light. Here, I'll like, oh, hold this for, you for a second. Oh yeah. But yeah, if you see the, the difference between the thickness here, um, this one is like substantially so this heavier. This one is thicker, it's same resin in, and it's thicker, yeah, about but that look, thickness. it's just not as yellow as this one. Yeah. Okay. Which is nice because, yeah, that's really nice. So it's basically right, what cool. I managed <laughs> to do with some of them are really thin because this is basically go. what I can yeah. do. Yeah. So what you're looking at is factually sixty dollars. Okay. And this is how it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't get the best result, well, you can cover it because we are working with glass, so it can cover yeah. the part 
that mm -hmm. does not work out the best. But also, uh, there are a little bit here that can be covered, a little bit here. But for the project, like what we're doing, it works. Okay, this one is actually burnt. Oh. So you can see, but it can be covered with glass mm -hmm. as well. Let's see if we can get it. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of see the spot there. <laughs> It's very minimal. <laughs> so some of them, yeah, and it can be, uh, this is probably the thinnest I made and it's not even. I like it though. It's just not as even. Oh yeah, this one. So basically we can work with what we have and we can choose the plate that works the best. And this is, uh, I was keeping it in wax paper because wax paper does, if it's just regular paper, it would stick and it it would be impossible to take it out. It sticks to the wax paper too, but when it sticks, you can unstick it from it okay. and fix it. If it sticks to like brown paper, it won't be good because <laughs> it would be ruined like as a surface. Okay, and then these ones, these ones are from another resin, so you can just look oh, at wow. this. So these ones are made from this these two bottles. This is actually my very first resin and look how bubbly it was. And also it's not even, you can look at the bottom. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very, um, it's in, like it wavy. It is, <laughs> it looks like a lens. It looks beautiful though. It's, it is beautiful. So and like uh, it's bubbly, but it's like the bubbles are very, very crystal bubbly, clear. Right? <laughs> Bubbles. <laughs> it's another option Ooh. and this is basically a resin spread with a glove on top of the resin plate. Okay, okay. I love it that. Really it looks is. like raindrops. Right. Neat. Oh, I love that. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I did not bring the ones that have oh. glass inside because we used it already. Mm -hmm. And then I had another one that I used paint and uh, uh, it was paint and uh, resin dye. And I have the green plate, but it it was not as good. As... How did you say you did this one? So it's basically this resin plate. Yep. And then taking a glob of resin and just spreading it, and then resin just gathers in something oh, like that. That's cool. That's really neat. So basically, I love that. If, it, it's kind of cool. Can I use that one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. awesome. I love that. And then you can always create that effect afterwards as well because mm -hmm. you can just go with the resin wipe, mm -hmm. like the resin created and then resin on top. So it's just more than one layer. So basically uh, $60 worth of this is somewhere around 10 plates, but they were resin ones. Yeah. Not thickness that was desired, but I used the thicker ones for the workshop and then the thinner ones I was going to use today. So, something like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, this is the example of what not to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what not to do. When resin goes underneath, this is how it cures. So, it's basically a ruined plate. Mm -hmm. uh, some people would like the effect, would paint over, or do something with it, but it's something that we don't want to do. So, overflow when it overflowed it was like this okay. mm -hmm. so this is too thin so if the plate is too thin it is even bendable so resin when it's very thin it does not work out for um well it's still it can be still a nice decoration but it's yeah. not something i would create for sale uh, then do you see these bubbles underneath the glass mm -hmm. which means uh we could put the glass and and then put resin on top, but resin would not reach underneath. Mm -hmm. So in this case, it would create the bubbles like that. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, I went through several different things, what not to do, but it could be more right here. But anyway, that's something I'm going to donate to Studio Central. They can create something. So that could be filed around <laughs> and could be, we could drill the hole here and just end it. Or someone might want to paint around or do something with it. All right. So Artbeat Studio provided with some supplies. Uh, so Artbeat Studio donated all this glass, which was not prepared. And this glass is quite simple. Just glass, right? 
so what we can do with this glass, we need to wipe it with Windex first, or I would recommend using wet wipe and then wiping it with uh, paper towel. So that is what we can do. I got a uh, towel to break the glass, sorry. So this is, if you Ooh. want to break a piece of glass, you put it in a towel, so mm -hmm. your hands are good. Okay, when you create an image, create it separately from a plate, because the plate might not be, it can be just stuck to a plate if the plate, plate did not cure completely. Okay. Well, these plates cure it well, but in case if you create a plate at home, and then you go on and you think it cured and it did not completely. So it would be stuck, it's hard to take it off. Yeah. So just having a different plate. So it's basically, we could just keep it somewhere mm -hmm. for someone who wants to break the glass. I think I might do that. <laughs> the files. So the files can be something like this at first. If you want to even up the piece of glass and it's not even and you want an even one plus it's safer, so it's not sharp. If you prepare glass pieces for a senior, a person who does not want to get cut. So the first file would be something from Home Depot or Rona. So that takes the big pieces off. And then you would use something like this to uh, polish them, like, I mean, to get to the nice shape and they're being polished at the same time. Uh, RP provided with this. And this is a $25 kit from Amazon, and it has this beautiful pieces. Ooh, pretty. Let's get it close for the eye. It's very, um, those are really pretty. It's almost like a it's op like an opalescent, opal, yeah. opalescent or mm. iridescent. And it's also weird. this is from Ooh, Amazon, and this is fun. also Nautical Crush, it's called, but it also a $25 kit. So when you buy glass, you know, it's more expensive. It's way cheaper to just find broken glass and find it. Yeah, it's out there. But it's a lot of work. Go pick up some litter and find right. some glass. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Plus, these are not prepared, too. So if you want to get singers uh, a good time, you would need to probably yeah. file them and ask. Just to make sure they're just safe. Just to make sure they do not cut themselves. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will put this here for now. Uh, then, uh, this is the box it came in. It's just a cute box, but this was sea glass. Yeah. Bonus. Get a nice mm -hmm. box. Yes. Um, all right. So, again, files, Rona, Home Depot, uh, hardware stores, and then any of these uh, Dollarama, Shoppers, whichever you can find. There are files like this, I find they do not work the best, like the rounded one, mm. but it might be my How do you, um, can you show us how you break the glass with the Honestly, with the I don't do it too much. Okay. I tried once, I broke it, but it's not for all pieces. Like if it's a okay. piece like this, yeah. it's harder, but if it's a, like- What if we were to use that, um, that file, the end of it, uh the big one that you said wasn't very good oh uh um, this one might be good for someone for the, it just did yeah. not work out see well me. the end of it i'm wondering if you could just again put the, well yeah but if you if you put it onto the glass while it's under the the towel oh. that could break it for it you could be. yeah could it could be it. Like i think i'll try that i'll try that <laughs> just make sure the towel is there yes. so it doesn't go. <laughs> breaking something like this is extremely hard so we oh. were breaking oh. mostly pieces that were really thin something like that so that is easy to break yeah. right but when it comes to a big and thick piece like that it might it's be hard. a problem so if you want to try hammer we have a hammer mm -hmm. here or you can i'll try a few this. different things and see what happens also, i will report that experiment for <laughs> us. Yes. a huge piece of glass here that i just don't have the tools for cutting glass Mm -hmm. yeah. And we also have this. It's an upside down oh, boat. Cool. <laughs> so cool. Have you done if the metal? If someone wants the... to just use this. It's like the edges. So yeah. this was a stained glass project someone made yeah. here, and it's an upside down boat. <laughs> you should do a stained glass workshop. That would be fun. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> we have toothpicks. Toothpicks are for basically cleaning the resin if the hair falls in or something is yeah. inside. And so this is for. 
that purpose. Oh, I mean, this is essentially a stained glass project just without the metal work. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so resin works as glue here, but it also gives the right shine. Did you go through the plates and pick on yes. everything? Did you want to pick one? Okay. So, uh, scissors, why do we need scissors? Oh, <laughs> they, they just exist in our space. Okay, so maybe we we'll just <laughs> use it for cutting wax paper. Uh, and I would be picking a plate. Okay, so we need wax paper of approximately this size. And uh, who is the best in wax paper projects? Um, I honestly well, do not like doing that. I wouldn't say that I'm best, but I can... Like, and we I have can... scissors if needed. Okay, so we all need a little resin balls on this table. There we go. We actually have such wax paper, but it's used for the discs. So I just want to keep the discs in. inside. It, it doesn't matter how slow or fast you go, it just doesn't rip. Uh, I see another character. So sometimes we clean it and it's still there. I can use this plate, like this wavy one. It's my pin first project ever and it's not even so for someone who is using something like this check that your plate is even enough because if it's not even uh, the glass pieces would be sliding mm, yeah and the resin could slide but also i kept the borders here so it does not go too mm -hmm. far uh, that part is quite uh quite hard i'd say because if it goes out it it is what it creates if it goes underneath yeah. and we don't want that okay all right so i need a wipe a wipe a wipe right oh, here yeah. <laughs> right here i don't need scissors here i just want to get rid of all the everything that we don't need so i just wipe it and then use paper towel on top And if I if I don't see that it's clean, I could use uh, the Windex. And I just want to clean it really well before working on it. And then the parts that do not turn out as uh, as nice as you want to yes filing does not work out the best because it leaves uh some spots and polishing is not my strong anything yet because i didn't get to that part of how to polish and everything so this is what i have it's interesting like i'm, I'm trying to crack so this is the, the glass bottom. with the without hurting myself yeah that's number yeah. one number one is right. don't hurt yourself <laughs> there, and there are little shards in there i found so mm, that's yeah. another thing to be mindful too yeah. oh careful <laughs> <laughs> no idea it would be that right. <laughs> so it just depends on the glass right yeah, that's true. this one's like a bit thinner mm -hmm. all right so this is something i have here and i put it upside down because we're going to work on the part that is um that has borders so we want to fit everything in the border so we don't want the overflow yeah. and there are other ways of doing that but you need to be really accurate and from the first experience i would not recommend doing that so it's basically brushing it to the end and not letting it overflow that might be quite a challenge mm -hmm. because when the resin is shallow it would create this rather than uh, like really smooth mm -hmm. surface. Okay, and then I need this again. 
ace, ace, ace. <laughs> and you see, I cannot do a lot of things at home. I did not do any four projects or anything that hair can go in that would be drying smoothly. Yeah. Because when I cover it, it does not dry well. And if I don't cover it, I don't have a choice of producing a hairy piece. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And he goes everywhere. Like, even <laughs> if he's not there, the hair would be there. Life with fur babies. Yeah. That's why you should get, like, those cats that are, like, have no hair. <laughs> so they don't, like, get hair in your resin or whatever. <laughs> Well, Both when I that gorgeous. I, love I that. did not think about resin so when I got Ace. <laughs> I mean, we couldn't just say no to Ace. We didn't no. have a home, right? He was too cute. Exactly. He was very cute. So this glass is just gorgeous. Yeah. So this kind is from the C. Uh, yeah. C section. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness! It's not fun. It's just. It is. <laughs> Gotta find you more things. Not that kind of season. I did not mean that. Kind of <laughs> I was just keep drawing glass to the camera. My memory yeah. just throws words at me that I oh, don't even. Okay. And you know what? I need another paper towel. Maybe I just don't know. Maybe this paper towel is not leaving this. this. Hard. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that one's not gonna. So oh yeah, that one's really thick. Yeah, you cannot just snap that with your hands. This in the, one in looks cool. quite. I thick. tried. It did not. Try. Can this paper towel <laughs> leaves bits and pieces that they. Oh, this is such a neat texture, this, though. though. I think I might leave this just kind of as it is. I kind of adore it. <laughs> okay, so everyone can have a brush. What am I gonna do with a brush? No. So brush <laughs> is. <laughs> the red. Let's find out. Right right Okay, uh, I also cleaned this, mm -hmm. and they're absolutely clean, and I put them in my bag, and they're not as clean anymore. Even they were in a plastic wheel bag. Okay. Great. Oh, that's so pretty. When I was, um, I have a whole bunch of glass at home that when I was a uh, oh gosh, I was probably like 10 or 11 years old. We went on a field trip with my school to a, a glass factory. And at the end, they gave us these little baggies. They're like, do not tell my boss that I'm giving you these because there's all these little different types of glass. And I've been trying to find a project for those for years. I love it. <laughs> Just a little baggie of yeah. random glass, but I love it. It just makes me happy. I love glass. Okay, uh, so the question uh, from one of the participants was Can we use a double layer of glass or layer it uh, in two uh, rather than just <laughs> one layer? Uh, it would be a little bit harder. Uh, well, first. First of all, it's the balance a piece might not have after that. Now, it was not my thinking when I was talking about it. I was talking about just curing time, and the curing time can be problematic. It might not cure as well, and depending on where you um, do it, some resins would not even want. And when also when you want to get rid of the bubbles, the thicker the layer is, the harder it is to actually get through. Mm -hmm. So, but again, I'm learning still, and resin is something I cannot like claim that I'm very good at that. I'm <laughs> learning. I'm doing things with it. Okay. Resin is stubborn. <laughs> it is. It has a mind of its own. So whatever leftovers we have, they could go here. So whatever leftovers from resin, uh, <laughs> they can go in the uh, mold to create another piece. Uh, okay, so the resin by itself, I have a rock that I want to resin too. So this one, yeah, so this one is, mm, it's yeah. beautiful. So that's going to 
have some resin pouring it. Okay, so what do you wanna do? What do you wanna do? Make sure that resin, uh, that the glass pieces you have, you clean them because a lot of them were cleaned, but they're also, someone touched it with resin fingers mm -hmm. and I wiped it with the wipe, but it did not remove it completely. Yeah. So if it happens, just, I don't know, some of it, like I cannot even clean it like that. It needs some deeper cleaning. So just look at that. And also, I honestly do not know what I want to do with it. <laughs> There's too many choices. minimal. I don't know what it is. <laughs> right. I feel like abstract would be the best with this kind of thing. You don't have too much control over how the shapes look. It can be just a simple boat like this, like something like that. It need to be outside of a very simple shape. Yeah. But you can play with the shapes if you're better with cutting glass. Um, then we are, we are not well equipped for that right now. But we're trying. <laughs> there is another option, so we can take bits and pieces that are not glass and combine. So I have these guys right here. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> those were the little paint pieces. That's fun. Yeah. So I don't know if I actually want to use it. I could. Just so everybody knows what this is, we love to like reduce, reuse, recycle here. So we reuse all of the little paint that sits at the bottom of our paint palettes and we will peel it off and like keep the little chips of it for all kinds of random art and it is amazing. It's just like magical painty joy. <laughs> so if someone wants to use it, it just needs to be broken a little bit because it's quite a... Does that go on top of the glass or...? Around. I could create water with it right here, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. something like this. That's fun. <laughs> Just need to break it to like a tinier detail. <laughs> something like that. So I do not even have to use glass in this case. I could just. Mm -hmm. I can also do like <laughs> like a landscape, like from above, like a map. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the boat. If someone wants the boat, it's right here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm getting. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> it will become what it will become. <laughs> I keep changing my mind on these pieces. That's the thing. Just play with it. Have fun. Move it around. Absolutely. Careful. There's little little shards in there. Okay. Yeah. Could be just a smiley face. <laughs> 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 Look at that. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, I love it. Oh. It's so whimsical. That's the thing. Like, we started out with what, and it, it's becoming all of this. This is amazing. 
Okay, so first of all, when we do something like that, we need to remove everything off because we're going to pour resin first and then we're going to apply things on it. Mm -hmm. So when you just put it laid out on resin plate, it might be look very cool, mm -hmm. but it might not work out with resin. So what I want to do, I want to take it off first of all and then see if it cooperates, it cooperates. But again, so this was the smile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, just let me know when everyone's ready. Okay. And we can start mixing resin. I need to break one more piece here, it looks like. Thank you. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. We're ready. Okay. So let's start. Those are fun. Okay, so we have the cardiner and we have the resin. All right, it looks quite lots of bags, mm -hmm. lots of bags around. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we had to open it beforehand because it would be problematic to do it. Here, <laughs> it would just be here for 30 minutes. <laughs> just trying yeah. to open it. Okay, so what I want to do to remove every single thing that we don't need from this table because I don't want to get the glass. Yeah. So let's remove this too if you have everything. Let's move things back away. Yes. Okay, so I can move this So I want to take everything out first. Yeah. So this one usually resin molds are thinner and it cures faster. So basically, overnight you're getting something like this. This one would definitely take more time, and most resins would not work that much. That's okay. I'll try this one. Okay. So we have the cups. Thank you. <laughs> we have all of this. This one did. Because it's a bit thinner, yeah. I guess. Yeah. This. No. <laughs> All right. Does it look better? <laughs> yes. Cool. Okay, so let's start mixing. What time is it now? It is. Are we close? Almost two. Almost two. Yeah. So we need to get get going. All right. So we have. Two cups, two cups, one extra. All fun. Let's do this first. This is resin, and resin is usually easy to open. Hardener is usually causing a problem because it starts working together. Oh, I started doing it without gloves. Oh look at my. me. I'm like, why? What? <laughs> ah, I don't want it because. <laughs> 
Resin can be damaging to your hand, so every each interaction with resin that did not cure might cause quite a burn. So yeah, aloe vera for the rescue, or <laughs> if it's worse, go see a doctor, or stop using it immediately, and consult your doctor and see which cream uh, could be prescribed. But yeah. Uh, usually, when something like that happens, I uh, wash my hands all day and they're still sticky and it feels horrible. Like for myself, I, I just get really bad um, reaction with my hands and then I have to use a little bit until it gets worse. And better, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one, two, three. More gloves just for me, thank you. Just for you, yes. <laughs> I'm so special. So these are regular Walmart latex gloves. I buy uh, powder-free exam gloves, latex. And these are from uh, Walmart, Walmart, so it's Superstore brand and the weight is sold at Superstore. Oh. Uh, but I got the other ones from Walmart, so both uh, you can get them from either Walmart or Superstore, probably shoppers. I am not sure because I never went to shoppers to buy the, the gloves like that. I don't know if they have them. It is, yeah. Is it like difficult? A little bit. Like I was just trying the different angles. I uh, tried to do here, it. Like it's quite yeah. slow like, for me. One with this. I, I, was, uh, I tried I both sides here, and this it. side seems to work oh. a little bit better. I just take yeah. it out so it doesn't fall because the bits oh. and pieces will go away. Yeah, I had one more piece that was going on there from this. When you file it oh, on this, top, oh. it would fold over. Yeah. yeah, okay, I wasn't paying attention. All the little <laughs> dust was going on there. <laughs> I know the impact in your pink forever. Right. <laughs> but, okay, so it's glass dust. I mean, I let So it's not perfect, but it's uh it's you get the perfect better. Or something like that after I like I actually yeah. like this. I think that this is kind of whimsical. So. Okay, so what we need to do first, we need to take all the glass off the plate. Uh we keep it this side up and we clean the surface really well before we do it. Like a wet wipe or yeah. Wet wipe and then Paper towel or just a wet wipe. Okay. So we need so, to take everything off. Just recreate the image somewhere here. Let's see if I can remember. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yours is kind of like mine. It's a little intricate, right? Yeah, I mean, mine. <laughs> but it's okay. So usually my suggestion would be to create an image somewhere else. I and then put it <laughs> on the glass. Yeah. Wow, well, a bit too late for that. Right. No, I told it in the very beginning. I know you did. You did tell <laughs> that. <laughs> I just it, it helps me figure well, it out. It helps you see if it like yeah. fits. Exactly. Or... So it's just a little bit of moving it around, putting it back again. It's like I did got this. The pieces, like here, and I put right. it on here and realized, oh, oh it's this jutting out. This does not okay, so it's this. <laughs> and I guess you get pieces. And did of you say it. you had wipes for that? Uh, we got Let's wipes see. right here. I wipe that thing. And also, uh, you can try Thank paper you. towel, but if it leaves spaces, just yeah. ignore. <laughs> so this resin is very thick comparably to other resins that are, like craft resin is so liquid, it was hard for me to switch from this to another kind. It's like... Hmm. So make the full glass. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> you're not supposed to touch it. No, no. Yes, like you're not supposed to touch blah, blah. I have had my hands entirely submersed in resin before, and I just, that was a bad day. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought you were going to say lava. <laughs> lava? No, I have not. It's like, what? No. That would be a really bad day. That would be like, that would be a really bad thing. Because <laughs> if that happened, you wouldn't be able to make art, you know, with your hands, right? I 
I can't. Right? Well, I guess you can make. I mean, you arms might be able to. I. I I mean, I there's people without work. hands who can do makeup. But I feel stuff, like so. I feel like we find a way. Yeah. If, we're, if we're truly artists, we find a way. Thing is, but I don't want to test that theory. <laughs> Let's see. You know, maybe you test it while you still have hands. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what do we have here? We can pour, make two sets mm -hmm. of glasses. So. Each person needs one quarter. <laughs> so we could just make like whatever we make we'll make. <laughs> okay, so I love that theory. Whatever we'll make, we'll make. <laughs> just <laughs> science. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make some. Um, yeah. Science is my favorite form of art. No, seriously, I you love it. You can focus on on like you working on it just so i can still move the camera around okay so i said i want to get the camera covered in resin yeah um, no resin on the camera that, no, <laughs> that's not ideal well i guess the viewer can get the full experience oh using resin this is oh, what it looks like if you get resin in your <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Okay, that's good. Oh. And that is good. Okay. <laughs> In real time. Yay for science. Ah, <laughs> uh, yay for art measurement, but maybe <laughs> an eye only. <laughs> no, we got the glass. Okay, so this and this. This is yours, this is mine. We're going to just mix it in this glass and then we're going to pour it back again so all the uh, hardener actually gets out <coughs> we're using spoons so Shut whatever up. i just oh, you have gloves right you got gloves yes okay so you can start mixing and just take turns because you can get tired put this <laughs> one into here yeah, yeah. so you just pour it first and then whatever is left here we're going to use it after so this mixture, it's recommended to have five minutes of mixing with this resin. Oh yeah, we, we go back and forth with the <coughs> yeah. resin. That's what we so, do here. Yeah, right. <laughs> we are kind to our fellow artists. <laughs> so whatever is left here, we're going to use it up after we make, mix it well, we pour it back here. So we pick up the rest of the hardener, so we don't waste it. I am. Oh no! I'm, I'm risking it, it's okay. Don't do okay. it! No, 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 I, it, it's all good. <laughs> I, <laughs> well, you got resin on your hands before. So fully yes. similar. What did it feel like? <laughs> it oh, not. a bubble went on me. So this resin creates bubbles that fly oh. around. Oh. And no, awesome. wait, other fly, resins fly, never yeah. did it. Oh my goodness. Just this one. That's kind of cool. <laughs> In the summer, like your kids want like one of those bubble ones. No, let's do resin. Let's do resin. Yeah. It's just yeah, a tiny little bubble I saw. Yeah, see right. <laughs> oh my gosh. I see that. I oh, that's so cute. Because it's like a precious little sprite of a bubble. <laughs> There's, a There's another one. Oh, I wish that we could show you guys with the camera. I'm hoping these little. I don't know if camera. I don't actually can see it. Well, they're tiny, so it's like. But yeah. if you do this in real life, you'll see. Yeah, that's amazing. When you're tired of mixing, just give it. Ooh. <laughs> I love bubbles. Bubbles make me happy. Here you go. <laughs> you can say that like every time. Oh, look, this is a little bubble. It's so cute. It's like a little baby bubble. Oh, there's more. Oh, they're so precious. <laughs> Um, we didn't actually watch the time. All right. It is whatever o'clock. I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> Two o seven. Two o seven. Ooh. Okay. So how much time did we mix already? 
I would say three well, minutes, but I don't know. You have mixed for um, a period of time. Oh, you made, a, you made bubbles. I there are these bubbles. adorable little bubbles, and I wish you could. Oh. <laughs> it's but, very um, hard to actually mix for five minutes straight. It is. It is. is. <laughs> well, tired. Let's keep going though. But this is what the resin says. Oh my gosh. The instructions from resin oh, say oh, three minutes. This one says five minutes. It popped off. Oh, yeah. right. oh, there's one right here. Look. And then one here. Oh, it just popped on me. <laughs> Alright. It's better if you stir fast so that you get yes. bubbles. So when we put resin, it, keep, it starts working there mm -hmm. as well so it might happen that it still gets rid of bubbles there so bubbles. okay so this mixture i just put it back here circling it into the and i just want to mix as much of powder as i can in so it cures better yeah. and then we want to actually do it uh, yeah. Before resin starts hardening, because then oh, you can see it. You can see there's a little bit. See that? You see that bubble? Look at that yes. little bubble. <laughs> Yay. This is our joy today. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the bubble. The bubble. Tiny, joyful bubbles. Yay. Yeah, All right. <laughs> so let's start. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we start with a tiny pour. So it's right here. Okay. And you got brushes. So I take a random brush, spread it out a bit more. Oh, oh not on my phone. No, not on your phone. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So this is what we did. Spread it out. No, it's not. It's okay. 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 <laughs> so basically, our main idea, it does not go over the border. Okay. okay. And the border was supposed to be up, so oh. it stays in. Oh, well, I think I did it backwards because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the... That's book. okay. Just try <laughs> to be very accurate with the ends. Oh, yeah. you don't have to pour it to the very yeah. to the high end, okay? I... I, I I listen well, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> so just to not pour it all out of the corners, we could just be very accurate. But also your plate allows you to not do what you're doing at the edges. I just yeah. spread it with a glove. I kind of like this though. So you could yeah. just... It reminds me of like... spread it completely we just start keep adding from the center mm -hmm. and it just looks more even now again my plate is not even at all my plate is I don't know why uh, it, the table seems to be straight and the floor is supposed to be straight but it's not so it, it just did not cure evenly I'll try to make what I can make with it. Okay, so this is the preparation, and then we start layering what we're layering. And then I just keep brush uh, in here for now. Okay, then I would take my glove off, or maybe not, maybe I'll keep the glove. No, I'll take it off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just keep one glove for now. Okay. I am friends with this glove. No, 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 I'm not. Okay, so we have the nose. The nose. Okay, that's the nose. <laughs> <laughs> that's the eye. One eye. <laughs> oh, okay, 
Okay, so we're going to pick to pick out pieces that are like going somewhere else. All right, and then we have the smile. All right, and then whatever my work can be, uh, I need to put the glove back on, and I cannot put the same glove back on, so I can just take a new glove. There's one here. <laughs> okay. Because I only need one glove. There we go. All right. So no. the next <laughs> the next portion of we're putting uh, resin on top, but it needs to be a little like not too much, so we do not over pour. So it goes on top of each of the pieces that we have. But the other option, if you already put a lot of resin, you can pick up with the brush from the plate okay. and put it on top of what you have. So that depends on. Uh, Okay, just keep it on here. Oh, keep it on the wax paper. No, the plate by itself. Oh, the plate, uh, and do not put it on where resin is. So put it on this side now. So put the resin plate where there is nothing, no resin. Because this is the way we're going to bring it to. Because if you put it on resin, it would make a mark on it in the water. Okay. All right, so now we have this real process here. But just moving the pieces together, creating that eye. <laughs> I don't know if I want to keep anything on top. Bits and pieces. going in. <laughs> I'm just hear everything quiet and you're just hearing really playing. So you glass. see the nose kept moving because again my plate is not even and resin when it is liquid sure it would move somewhere. <laughs> so do not create something really exact from this point of view because this is kept moving. <laughs> it's going to float. <laughs> All right, the smile. You come too close, it may end up being a grimace. You know, it's, it's still a thing. <laughs> <laughs> It is very random and people who love element of randomness mm. would love this work. Randomosity. But it's a thing. people who tend to plan everything out and get keep like can get upset if it doesn't work the way they plan, that would be probably a downer. Yeah. So it's, it's just... good practice to mm -hmm. let things happen. So oh, that and you can right. also wait until the resin has cured just a little bit if you really want that level of control you just have to start to understand how your resin works and how how long it takes to cure um, for a lot of the clear resins they take uh, 24 to 48 hours to like generally cure and then you know up to a couple weeks to fully cure but uh, I would say if you did this after maybe even six hours of it setting, it might have a little more control. But it might leave marks. So it could, yeah. It might leave marks in resin. Just mm -hmm. learning so just, your resin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, again, if you work with resin, 
uh, if you want to come back and fix things, be very careful if the resin cured partially, mm -hmm. because it would not look good if you get into it. It would create a, um, a it could create a scratch or a splash that goes out, and it would not be even, and it would not be clear anymore. So it just quite. Uh, Oh, okay. So I don't want any of this around. I just want a simple face. Again, the nose moved again. <laughs> so everything that is on top, I'm going to put resin on top of this too. So I'm grabbing resin from the plate, whichever I have here, and put on top of the nose. So it's covered, so it would fixate it better. And also, in my thinking, it's nice and it's more smooth than just feeling a piece of glass peeking out of resin. It's better and nicer and safer to cover it. And it holds better. Mm -hmm. So all this. <laughs> I just want to keep pushing this one back because it likes to... Oh. There is no messing up in art only annotations. We've been over this. No. <laughs> it's amazing. I really like how it looks though. Mm -hmm. And it matches what you're wearing. I rest. guess so, yeah. I kind of tried to do a flower at first and now it kind of looks like <laughs> a boom. Which I like though. It, it's a flower that has just rid of the bubbles and use the torch so we would use the torch and uh, with the torch not everyone likes the torch <laughs> <laughs> not everyone does and you know yeah. what in my thinking we could leave these pieces here to cure yeah as long as our weather you see what I'm wearing and it's April 21st yes and it was snowing yesterday uh -huh. so it's still pretty cold and windy and all that yeah. I of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, someone was not like, like, I'm upset because I don't like this weather, <laughs> but someone must not be upset and actually do like this snow. I don't know, but it feels but like don't. somebody forgot to cancel the order of snow that came in. <laughs> you know, like... Well, at least it wasn't 15 centimeters. <laughs> it was. I'm grateful for that. For yeah. sure. <laughs> Appreciate what it what we yeah. do have and what we don't have. Everyone, <laughs> oh look at this. That's the result. Oh probably. my goodness. Okay. Alright, so let's keep it this way. And I would just add resin on here so it definitely mm -hmm. just stays on. <laughs> Yeah, we're coming. We're kind of at an hour here, so do we want to do? So let's do the um, because uh, again, another thing that we should always work on top of when we uh, oh my goodness, <laughs> when we fire the piece, it's not firing, but it's okay. So we'll, we can keep working after we yeah. use the torch. I'm not being fired. You're being <laughs> All right, so uh, again, one, two, three, very quickly we take the cap off and put this back on and screw it on as quickly as we can. Okay, then we know it's safe, we're not breathing properly or anything. Oh goodness. Okay, so yeah, no. <laughs> um, we have plus
were some resin on this one. I want to. So we can keep working. We can take a toothpick and pick out the little pieces of here that I see. Just take a closer look at things. I blame art and all this here. Part of art, you know. It, it was probably my hair. <laughs> all right. So I need resin for the rock, and that would be a pour. But again, I need the glove. Oh no! So I am doing something here. I'm wiping it. I never want it to go over. Never. We just have a little ever, too ever. much of the. Uh, Can I have a just, wet wipe? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing here, <laughs> I'm going to use another spoon to not use the glove. It doesn't have to be the spoon, it can be something else. We could brush it on or we could just use the. Uh, I don't know what to do. You want it over. Um, so uh, we need to wipe everything. I, I guess we can like like this. Oh, okay, I can try that. It might help. It probably is underneath your piece too. Yeah. But... So we need to wipe it really well and take it on another piece of paper and see if it's still underneath. So with the rock, I don't worry if it's underneath. It can go on the side. That's okay. Because rock can when you file the edges on the rock, the rock would be solid yeah. and it wouldn't <laughs> look. So something like that. And then we will get rid of bubbles. And so the whole rest of whatever leftovers you have go here. Leftovers of rest. Yeah, do you want to do you want to end our our live yeah, there so we and then we'll the keep working? And then we would be fixing the pieces and yeah. then we would be photographing the results. Okay. Bye-bye everyone. We'll see you next Friday for another live. See you then. Bye. 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 Bye.